Yes, it's a day we're going to see Diana Olick's face. If you've been with me long enough, you know exactly what that means. Yes, that article and the Orange County Register saying it's a complete nightmare with listings out there. There's just none. All next on Real Estate Daily. Welcome everyone, my name is Troy and every day we go over the latest news in real estate, housing and the mortgage market and my God, I don't even wanna talk about mortgages right now. It is a complete disaster. <sighs> so while you're sitting on the sidelines waiting for any type of listing to hit the market, yes, you can get my buyer's guide. Click right here, bing, 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 okay. And do me a favor, I'm gonna give you the best news, best news every single day, the five minutes of your beautiful real estate market info. Yes, hit that subscribe button. All right, let's jump into it. As anyone knows that's been with me long enough, I always say that if CNBC shows a picture of Diana Olick's face, it's going to be negative news. If they have real estate articles that written by her, but doesn't show her face, it's a positiveness. And because she loves the negativity. Come on, Diana, killing me. Average rate of 30 year mortgage jumps 14 points to 7.22. Wow. After strong ATP, ADP jobs report, Guys, I'll say this once and I'm saying it a hundred times. When you lose your job and you're in, a, in an inflationary uh, environment that when you're looking for another job, you're not going to go jump into the California unemployment line because they don't pay enough. You know, there's nothing. The, the state's broke. There's hardly any money in the coffers. You know, they're borrowing money now and we're about ready to get our debt downgraded by Moody's. There's just no money. So that means you have to go out and, buy and get a job. Well, do they count the firing or the layoff and then they, they count the hiring? No, I personally think they lay you off, they move on, you get hired by somebody else because there's plenty of jobs out there, especially in this state. You don't get, you don't have the one minus one, you have just a plus one. And this is why we keep running into this. We're showing strong ADP report. It, it just shows that the economy is resilient. And if we continue to let the Fed keep looking back at how they handled, how previous Feds handled the economy, I don't think, I think we're in a whole different world today. We're not in the same world, the seventies with Jimmy Carter and, and all the nightmare that happened here then I think we're in a whole different world. And I think that the Fed and their 400 PhDs don't have, a, don't have an idea of what they're doing. Their job, guys, is to get rid of your job, right? It's to make you poor. And if they make you poor, what happens? You won't spend money. That is their job. Then it's, the day of sitting at home waiting for a stimmy check is over. You need to go out, get a job, but save the money. Save the money. Let's go on. Kobesi Letter, this is off of Twitter. Kobesi Letter says, breaking average interest rates on a 30 year mortgage rises 7.1%. So now they're going over something that's very interesting. It says monthly payment on a $400,000 mortgage. Two years ago, it was 1,600. Now it's 2,700. Meanwhile, markets are beginning to price up three more interest rate hikes. No. No, what are we doing? We're just trying to get everyone broke. This is crazy. This is crazy. Buying a home has become a luxury. This is nightmare, nightmare proportions right now. And it's just going to tighten the market even more. There were not, in my eyes, we're not going to see houses at the market. Foreclosures are at, at historic lows right now. There's just not very much out there. And if there are, what's happening? You have the government come to the rescue. Yeah, stay in there, do forbear, stay in your house, you know, have forbearance, you know, work it out with your lender, you know, uh, have bridge loans or have a bridge time, uh, time frame that you can suspend your payment. Guys, it doesn't make any sense, you know, that's going on. And so because of that, we had expected at least, a, uh, at least I expected some type of reversal in this market, meaning that the Fed was going to start lowering rates. 
because the inflation was high and our and the amount of people losing their jobs is crazy high but we just keep seeing them getting rehired in the past there wasn't another job to go through but when i go through a drive through that's it almost every it's mcdonald's or jack in the box or or you know any fast food restaurant it says there's a for, it tells people, hey, we're looking to hire, we're looking to hire. I drive by, you know, several different companies, you know, big, big companies out there that have, you know, big, you know, Amazon, let's call it Amazon. They're looking to hire, right? Everyone looking to hire and they want good help. They don't want to hire garbage. They want good help. They don't want the guys that are lazy. This is what's out there. I don't see a lot of vacant commercial unless you're in downtown LA and that's because the government's really hurt that. All right, let's jump into it. Next article, and before we jump in this, hit that like button. You know, this is a, this is exactly the narrative that I've been saying now for over a year. Pace of bidding wars picks up as home buyers compete for fewer listings. That that says it all. You want it? That says it all right there. Builders are building, and they're they've now started taking off again because there's no homes for sale. So people are now getting pushed into new construction. All right, let's jump into something that I just happened. I have an, uh, a property. I have an escrow. Put an escrow at like the end of last week, uh, and you know did the home inspection over the weekend. But my lender was out of town, and I'm like, hey man, we want to get this done in 21 days. You know, I know Rocket Mortgage is really quick right now. I need you to order the appraisal. The only thing holding us back. Well, he was in Cabo and half the time he was drunk texting me. So not sure he even got half the stuff I was saying. But when he got back yesterday, he said, hey, Troy, don't worry about it. We had a desktop appraisal, came back, it signed off. I'm like, what? Yes. So as we just got an escrow last week, he got the final conditions last night and now he's in it for final approval with a desktop underwritten appraisal. Wow, this is crazy. And this is a Fannie Mae uh, FHA, actually, yeah, I think it's an FHA product. And so I'm like, damn, that was quick. We're already all there. So with that being said, we're going to start seeing automated appraisals really start to pick up. And that's what he's telling me. He goes, hey man, we're just, the, the process is gonna be way more streamlined, especially with Rocket Mortgage. All right. On the good side, Jim Cramer. So as you know, Jim Cramer, the inverse Jim Cramer, just like the inverse Diana Olick, every time she's on, it's negative news. Well, with Jim, every time he talks, it's you, it's 90% the exact opposite. Now I'm just giving you, 90% is just, uh, is typically what people talk about out there. But whatever Jim says, you know, it's usually gonna not happen. In fact, he's just, he's been so traditionally bad this year that people always, we're just sitting on their edge of seats for him to say something, you know, say something stupid so they can just do the exact opposite. So this is what Jim said. Jim Cramer takes a side in the war between Mark Zuckerberg and Elon Musk. Cramer says the cesspool of Elon's Twitter is an awful product. Well, guess what, man? It's exploding. Yesterday, you know, I know that the launch of Threads came out, but guess who threatening, you know, Instagram? Well, threatening Instagram is TikTok. And TikTok is obviously way more, you know, exciting and important, and it's being used by so many more people than Instagram. Now, we understand that Zuck has Facebook. Facebook is a sinking ship. It's a censorship cesspool. I'll call it that, a censorship cesspool. And that's why people got off it in droves. They, you know, you censor us, you're having a problem, people don't want nothing to do with it. Still, there's, I'm, I'm sure there's people on the platform, but it took a big, big hit. Now, you know, Zuckerberg comes out with threads. Come on, guys. I can go to Twitter spaces and I can talk to a thousand, 10,000. I can listen into all the today's relevant stories and I can listen to the truths and I can hear both sides of it. Can't see that on CNN. Can't see that on CNBC. And I'm surely can't see it on threads. Give me a break, okay? That's not where it's at. Also yesterday, Elon got licenses to, for my, uh, to, to, to push money around on his platform. This is what's happening with, you know, WeChat. He is going after WeChat. He doesn't care about Instagram. 
What's happening is a narrative that's out there is that Zuck is in because Zuck helped us out in, you know, 2020 when there was, you know, the, the orange man versus Joey B, you know, and I, I censored people. That's what, that's why Zuck is getting some love out there. But when it's all said and done, Elon's opened up free speech, which I know some far left hate the free speech amendment, you know, the first amendment. That's why they're, they're all over their narrative. So I thought this is a kind of a funny piece that, that, that Jim Cramer said, now I know for a fact that Elon Musk is going to crush it. All right. <sighs> yes. What a complete mess this is. Looks like it, conforming rates went up 13 basis points yesterday, the day after 4th of July, to almost 6.91. 30-year FHA went up 9 basis points at 6.78. My God, Jumbo. 33 basis points. What a nightmare. You want to talk about rolling over 7%? You're at 7.2 here in Southern California. Jumbo is very prominent, you know, on what, and, and a lot of mortgages. I mean, this is just atrocious, man. You know, these rates, and it's all like Cobesi letter said, you know, it's just, it's the idea that the jobs report was so strong out there that now we're seeing the Fed who, who and their 400 PhDs cannot stop talking about wanting to get interest rates or, you know, annual rates down to, you know, 2%. two per, Guys, is it really going to happen without literally getting, getting unemployment to 10%? And 10% just means that we're going into depression, right? They're, they're hell-bent for a depression. China did exactly the opposite. You know, a month ago or so, they decided, hey, we're headed the same way that the U.S. government is, and so many people hate the dollar, we need to change it up. So instead, they lowered interest rates in a quantitative easing, right? And so even though it's caused more inflation, guess what? Your workers are happy because they're working. They're not sitting on the sidelines. They're not looking at going, being, you know, you know, belligerent. They're out there working, and even though they're their yeah, their yuan, yuan doesn't go as far, it keeps them happy and it keeps them productive. But here in the United States, we don't want any of that. We're we're here, the Fed, who, you know, I, I really like some of the candidates saying we should abolish the Fed. We should. We're, we're, the, the, the Fed says they're out to help us out. Does anyone out there leave in comments how many people out there feel that either that the Fed's helping us out? I'd love, I'd love to hear it. All right, I've spoken way too much at this point. Uh, I am going to get off and get out. You guys have a fantastic day. It's a short week. Today's Thursday, tomorrow's Friday. Guys, I'll see you tomorrow.